Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joe Simpson. It is Sunday, Father's Day, and I wanted to just say to all the fathers, be good dads out there, happy Father's Day. We are often underappreciated, and we need to fish more. That's the bottom line. So I wanted to just share with you today something so basic and so simple. Don't put down a lure that's working for you. I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but I do this all the time. I'll start out with something. I'll catch a fish. I'll cast a few more times. I won't catch anything. And I'll immediately just grab something else and start trying that. Now, sometimes you want to cycle through things to see if something's going to be really hot versus something that's just okay. But you want to try to not put down the lure that's working. So this morning, Pat and I went out to our favorite pond. Uh, We wanted to do some frog fishing that was on our minds all weekend long. And we get there. He starts with a frog, and I can't really see where I'm casting, and the water was pretty high. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to start with a popper a little bit more in the clear areas. And literally, it was the cheapest popper ever. I'll link you below. You must get one of these. They're well worth the money. Um, They're made by Jawbone. Little three and a half inch, you know, whatever popper. No feather trailers on it. Nothing special. Just basic. I got it for $2 at Dick's, and this thing whomped them today. So anyway, we started off. And, you know, Pat caught a couple on his frog. I caught a couple on the popper, but I seem to be getting more activity on the popper. But I put it down because I saw Pat catching frogfish and I was like, that's what I want to do. I want a frogfish because it's just more fun. Um, but lo and behold, the frogfish bite didn't really pick up at all. And then I just grabbed that popper again and went around the pond and I proceeded to catch like 11 or 12 fish. It was insane. I guess the biggest takeaway from all this is to just use what works. If you have something that catches a fish, you might want to just keep repeating what you're doing. One thing that I noticed today that was working really well, when I would pop the popper, they didn't seem to like that. But when I would dribble it along, kind of instead of popping it hard, they would just go insane. If that thing was dribbling on top of the water, they would just eat it. And they were eating it in a weird way. They weren't just like crushing the topwater bite, although I did have a couple good smacks. Um, They seemed to just kind of come up, grab it, and go down with it. And that was it. It wasn't a big deal, not a big event. You would just look, and one second your popper's there, the next second it's gone. So you start reeling in thinking you snagged some grass or something, and you got a fish. So I was really catching fish and couldn't get out of my own way. It was nothing I was doing specifically right. I was just in the right place at the right time with the right lure today, and it worked out. But you guys have a great Father's Day. Enjoy a couple of the catches, and I'll play some footage from the weekend. Tight lines. Talk to you later. Peace. Little one, little one. They do not like that popper today. They want to kill it when they see it. My guy, they're all looking the same today, but I'll take it. Put them back quiet. Don't. Right over there under that tree. Oh, right there, actually. Something moved at me. I saw him coming. Yeah, I saw him coming. So I'm kick off the the bank. Yep, that's a good fish. It's actually a pretty good fish. If he shakes off, I'm not gonna be sad about it. That's better than the rest today. Oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, look at that one. It's better than the average. He's a a two. Something didn't like it. That's number seven.
missed another one. This team. Got him. Second chance. I guess I think that's number eight. Freaking just killing him today with this popper. Take your time. That's a good fish. Not bad. What the hell? <laughs> they just keep coming. Uh, quick release. He ate it and ran right at me. Unreal. It's a big daddy right there. Big daddy. He might come off, but I don't even care. Ow, his teeth are huge. It's weird. Uh-oh, not in the gills, not in the gills. There we go. Protected thy fish. This is the second big fish I've caught today, guys. He's a big one. I mean, not huge, but compared to most of them. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Oof. Nice way to end the day. Makes you want to... Well, didn't have it on here. Uh, try to get him a decent fish here. <laughs> Where's my buddy Joe? Well, about three pounder here. <coughs> Another nice fish, man. Well, really garbage hook set, but he hit it. Didn't have the GoPro recording, but another one on. This is gonna look like the last time I was here. Yeah, he just sucked it. He just sucked it down. I, it felt like a worm bite. It was dunk. <laughs> I swear to God, it was dunk. Quick release. There's a ton of fish in here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> They're out there, don't they? Yeah. That's kind of the size we were catching last time. Well, it's fishing it slowly. Damn. Come on, dude. Nice. Little fish. Yeah. 
Oh no. Mountain and a quarter probably. Oh, there's a monster in here, Joe. We gotta find him. Not gonna tell me a three pounder is the biggest one in here. A small one. Small one. Smally. I mean, there's just, you're not, no way. This is all that's in here. Little pounder. Oops. Yep. He just gobbled it up. Did a quick little gobble. Wasn't anything crazy, but. Oh yeah, I shoehorned him. I shoehorned him. He wasn't going anywhere. Go in behind you there, see if there's anything left. <laughs> yeah. Look, he choked it. He's little and he choked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a nice ferocious bite too. He freaking popped it. Little guy, man. But made makes the day fun, doesn't it? <laughs>